Hi, Kerala aspirant. My name is Sankaran. I am professor of Bharatas Institute of Management. I have an experience of more than 25 years in a business school in various capacities. Faculty, admission chairman, placement chairman, PGP chairman. So handling all these activities, I have interacted with the students in various uh, capacities. So on that background or in the strength of this experience, uh, I can uh, tell you a few things which will help you to uh, cross the cat hurdle very easily. The first doubt you will get is, am I the right person or can I take cat? So that self-doubt is the first thing which uh, uh, obstructs or which uh, reduces your performance capability in the cat. So that self-doubt has to be removed. There is nothing unique in cat which is specific only to certain individuals or for certain capabilities. CAT is applicable for everybody, provided you are taking adequate effort and spare your time, then everybody can crack CAT and get into the 99 plus percentile. Second doubt most of you get is that I am not very good in English vocabulary, what should I do? How do I improve my vocabulary within the available time? Though it is not uh, uh, very late, we can always pick up the vocabulary very easily. The first thing is that based on your mock test, some of the words which are repeating very often and also the words which you have found not very unique, that you have not come across those words. So those things you just write it on a piece of paper. So you keep writing the words at the end of the day you can see about 50-60 words. So you keep building your vocabulary at a rate of about 50 to 70 on a daily basis and that will greatly help. Another doubt most of you get is that I am not very good in numbers. I get scared when I look at the numbers. So how can I crack the math spot? The so math section doesn't test your logic ability. Basically it is the basic math arithmetic which you have learnt in your school level which gets refined only by practice. So keep on practicing. And all these arithmetic problems can be brought down into 4 or 5 groups. For example, uh, the, the percentages calculation or the profit calculation, cost calculation or something to do with your uh, work, number of people required. So once you get the pattern, then it will be easy for you to solve that question very easily. Another uh, doubt you will get as far as the mathematics is concerned, I am not very good in formula, so how do I do it? It, it doesn't require that you memorize all the formula. Once you have worked out sufficient number of exercises, automatically you will be, you will be able to solve it in the CAD test. Because you will know you have worked out similar problems somewhere, some point in time. So, this also can help you to reduce the total time it takes to solve a particular question. You don't have to read the entire question to get a glimpse of what it is. For example, if it is relating to cost or profit, just by looking at the first line itself, you will know exactly where the problem is and uh, what kind of solution is required. So this way you can reduce lot of time in math section and when it comes to the question of logic you have to be very careful. You have to draw conclusions or inferences only based on the premises which are given in the statements. As well as the way you identify the, the syllogisms or you identify the patterns. These things you have to go by what is given in the question. And usually what will happen is or what factor which will deter your performance in this section is your own way of thinking which will interfere into the process of logic. So try to avoid this kind of a personal influence as much as possible in solving logical ability questions.